All right, for this one, I'm just going to go in, hit go Z. Again, get rid of the hard edge one and immediately go back to this one on the keyboard. I'll grab this face, this face, this face, this face, and go into polygons and do an extrude in those regions. A little bit of green, a little bit of red. Just like that. Do it one more time. A little bit of green, a little bit of red. And that should give me a good edge loop in that area in order to do some stuff with the ears later on. Okay, so let's go back. Go back to go Z. There we go. And now I can move these ears around. And it should be symmetrical because I did them both at the same time. And I'm just going to kind of put these in the place where they need to go. Again, in anywhere below the nose and just about right there. Now just putting a little extra love in things, uh, mainly seeing if um, I have enough edge loops in here to support the face against the neck. It feels like it. Seeing if I can make good cheekbones too. Good. This feels like a big old hot mess to me right down here. Feels like another edge loop. Feels like an edge loop is needed right there. Yeah, it's much better. All right, there we go. My blank topology uh, character is now created. So now when I get bored, I can go in ZBrush and just go to town. Um, and that's the main thing I wanted to do is not create a character in this video, but show you how to create um, a good topology character uh, that could be any kind of character later on. This right here might present, uh, let's see, no, that should be okay. Yeah, that should be all right. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, making of a good topology head from a box. So that's, that's the fun part about it. And I look forward to doing another tutorial in the near future. Enjoy.